I wanna dance by water underneath the Mexican sky Drink some margaritas by string of blue lights Listen to the mariachi play at midnight Are you with me? Are you with me? We're gonna switch our discussion to something else for maybe 45 minutes and then we leave. All the things we do we are looking for one thing, peak performance. We practice training, 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 and why we training? The peak performance, playing good, but the playing good is not all depends on training. It used to be. Years back, we didn't have knowledge. We thought, you know, we just have to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Over training, under training, we didn't know anything about. Taper, we didn't know anything about. We just knew we have to practice. Now we know many other things. Nutrition. Nutrition is very important. We have to get more energy. Psychology is important. It's important when I go to court, my, my brain be comfortable. School. And I could make a good grades. I'm playing. Or this morning I told me they told me that you you failed the school. But this afternoon I have to play. You know the uh, uh, there is a club in Iran, Pekan. He knows. Day before the final, the assistant coach died. And the Federation didn't want to change the time. So the Pecon team didn't come to court. They said, we can't play. You know, the, his dead body is still on the floor, you know. We can't play. Their mind was destroyed, you know. And he knows the Ibrahimi he was a very good assistant coach, very good volleyball player. He was full health. Suddenly on the court he was playing, he got a heart attack. Heart attack. So the mind must be comfortable. When you're playing your team, minds must, must be comfortable. You would practice. Your team must have a good nutrition for this afternoon. Good calorie, calorie enough calorie. If he's a student at university, his grade must be good. If, the, if somebody tells him he failed the university, his, his mind going to mess up, you know. He's got a good work, good job. He's working for your team, but he's got a very fine job in the society. That's very good. He's getting good money from club, but he's got a good job himself, you know. And the relationship with coach Must have a good relationship with coach. And environment. Must not be very hot, not very cold, but everywhere we go, either is maybe is hot, maybe it's cold, maybe it's humid. Yesterday we were working, it was not very comfortable, it was very heavy, but the environment does affect the performance. Now we have something in physiology, we call it environmental exercise physiology. What is environmental exercise physiology? It means if we go to Mexico City, it's a 2,400, 2,400 meters off the sea level, you know. What happened over there? 
our performance comes down. So what we do, we said we are going to where? Maybe Iran. What's the temperature? 40 degrees. So we have to practice for it. We have to get ready. Adaptation. Because peak performance, so many things. One of the things is injury. If your team have so many injuries, you have problem. In a very important time, two, three days before final match, two of your people get injured. So you lose them. You have to switch two people from the bench. So what happened to your peak performance? Peak performance in decreases. Because peak performance in volleyball is not is individual, but also whole. Everybody must be, everybody peak performance is important. Injury is something that happens, but we must have a knowledge for it to prevent. But sometimes we do our best, but the players get injured. Nothing we can do. Uh, in uh, Olympic qualification, we had a player, Mahmoudi. He's very good, outside hitter. And he scored very good the last two, three matches. They replaced him in a Gafur. He started playing very good outside hitter. And then Gafur got back pain because people hitting from outside, very easy get injured, you know. Bad landing, it's over. But what we can do is do our best, decrease this. We cannot eliminate. We can decrease it. We cannot eliminate. You know, the best spiker in one landing is over. Back. Here we are going to look to something that I prepared for you. It's not very long. But... Uh, is uh, a sport injury. Uh, I remember a book from an Italian sur surgeon. I forgot his name very good book by Italian surgeon who used to be a volleyball player in Italy. <coughs> I forgot his name. Excellent book. All volleyball injury. The entire book. Only volleyball injury. Because he's a surgeon and a volleyball player. That's the best. Probably most Italian players, they know him very well because he used to play for the Italian team, but he's a very good surgeon. Four things important. Prevention. Prevention how? Good shoes, good Surface, good technique, good practice, good physical fitness. These are prevention. Those who know the technique very good, they, they injure less. Those who are uh, physically fit, 
they injure less, but they injure. The best injure. The best player also injures. Nothing we can do. After prevention, diagnosis. We have to have somebody diagnose. All the volleyball teams now, they have uh, doctors. Orthopedic. That uh, Italian was orthopedic surgeon. And the entire book is volleyball injury. Excellent. In English. In English, yeah. Diagnosis. Diagnosis means I find out what it happened. Happened. What happened? And then good treatment. I lived in the United States. In American football, there were some people seven times <coughs> knee operation. They're still playing. In Dallas Cowboy. Have you heard about Dallas Cowboy? Big organization. They have the best stadium in the world. They had the players, 120 kilograms, 180, 198, 120 kilograms. It's just like a door, that door. Hand this big. I saw one of them. He had a bottle in his hand. It was like a, this. <laughs> that big. Seven times knee injury. One leg. They're still playing. Because good diagnosis. And good treatment. Beautiful. And good rehabilitation. Now we are in an era of good prevention, good diagnosis, good treatment, and good rehabilitation. Because the science is here, and we have to use. Because one team, during the year, cost the million dollars. This Iranian team is going to Olympic, is cost Iran millions of dollars. They are practicing for four years. Every time they travel, they pay large amount of money for air ticket. So they must have somebody diagnosed. They must have a doctor. All the teams have a doctor and access to the technology, treatment, and diagnosis, and rehabilitation. So injury can be prevented, but it cannot be eliminated. And it has so much to do with performance of individual and the teams. If you are, have a two, three injured, your team is not complete, you know. In our body, we have tissue, hard, bone, semi-hard, cartilage. That's very bad, injure easy. Soft, a skin, tendon, <coughs> ligament, muscle. That's bad. So many injuries. This one, no, we do, we do scratches is all right. But this one, over a stretch or tear. Over a stretch and tear. Over a stretch and tear. That's bad. And we have many injury here. Muscle, ligament. Tendon. We have another, another uh, tissue, fluid, blood, but that's no problem. Our problem 
in volleyball very much these three. Because these are stretchable. And there are fiber, very tiny fiber. They cut and they overstretch. What we do for them, stretching, stretching, flexibility, flexibility, stretching. So they are ready for overstretch. But sometimes so much a stretch they can't tolerate. Especially when we are landing or taking off with an equal. We don't have a balance when we land. So much force goes to one side. We can control. But nothing we can do as happens. So we diagnose good treatment. And I remember our time in Iran. Every volleyball player had a knee injury and the surgery was over. Gone. No comeback. Because no technology, no rehabilitation, no diagnosis, and the surgeries were very bad. Open this much go into the knee, now one hole, orthoscope, next day, okay. I remember every one of our friends in volleyball, on any sport, they had a knee injury, they were gone. Take off, no comeback, but not now. So many volleyball players are injured, they are playing now. Shoulder injury, they are playing now. Back injury, they are playing again. Knee operation, back again. Ankle operation, they are back again. Because the operations are a very high technology advancement. Good treatment, good rehabilitation. Very good rehabilitation. We didn't know anything about heat, cold. I give you an example. I was young. I was playing volleyball outdoor. It was mess, mess. I chased the ball. My two legs went like this. Start pain, very sharp pain here. What I did, my friends, they took me, they put me in a bathtub and hot water. The leg went red, entire leg. Bleeding took one year. It needed only one week. Why? Because we didn't know what the heat means. Cold means heat is very bad. After injury, heat is very bad. So the injury should have taken one week. It took one year because my legs from here to here was red. I sat into the hot water. It would have taken one week now, maybe less than one week. It was over a stretch, hamstring. Type of injury, fracture. We don't have very many fracture in volleyball. Maybe finger. Finger fracture happens. On blocking, they hit the ball, the ball sits on one finger or oh, the entire ball. Pulling, tearing, possible. Dislocation, not very many. A sprain, very many. A strain, very many.
This one, very many in volleyball, <coughs> ankle. <coughs> ankle injury, you're blocking, you're coming down, like this. Especially outside. Muscle tearing, possible. Not very many. This one, this one dislocation, we should not have very many dislocation because we're talking about shoulder dislocation. We should not have very many, unless somebody's shoulder is abnormal. These two, very many in volleyball. But minor, unless is third degree. Muscle pulling, yes. Muscle tearing, yes. Tendon tearing, yes. Happens. But what we do, we do lots of stretching. The, during the training, we do different stretching to make them to be ready during the match. If it happens, the person should not injure, you know. So, what we do, we say, the better conditioning, the better conditioning, the less injury. The more we condition well, the chances of injury is less. A sprain and... Yeah, a strain means uh, putting so much pressure on something, you know. The muscle is strained. This one is be ligament. Yeah. Yeah. Strained uh, means tolerated so much force yeah fracture we don't have in volleyball except finger very many very many on blocking happens We have something that we can do if the doctor is not available. <coughs> many places, many uh, uh, times, we may, not have, we may not have a doctor. We don't expect to have a doctor for a high school team at, at the scene. What we should do is quick treatment. Quick treatment we can do, but the treatment we cannot do. Treatment needs a doctor. But quick treatment we can do. No problem. First of all, rest. We don't use that more. We give him rest. Ice, cold. Ice is very good. F decreases the blood. Controls the injury. Compression. Tape. Less blood comes. Is good. Elevation. You put them up. Less blood. So this is something that we can do without having any doctor. And then we direct to the doctor or hospital or wherever, wherever. What they did, what I did to myself, and instead of ice, I sat down in a hot water. That's a disaster. I didn't know anything about compression. I didn't know anything about any of this. I didn't think anything about injury.
we I don't remember even orthopedic surgeon at that time. They were surgeon. Now we have orthopedic surgeon that specialize for shoulder. Orthopedic surgeon in Iran specialize for fat only knee. Only knee. I met the orthopedic surgeon in Liverpool, in England, specialized for Dr. Simon Frostick. I met him. He was specialized for only shoulder. I broke the finger in volleyball. I met the surgeon in Iran specialized for finger. I said, this is very expensive. How you're taking so much money of me. So I'm specialized for finger. Broken finger. So now it's good era. It is a good era because first of all, we have the orthopedic surgeon. And then we have orthopedic surgeon for a specialty, a special, with a specialty in different things, you know. So that's much better, you know. We are in very good condition. So now, if somebody injured, we can get them ready in a few minutes, few few days, if it's not very major. Especially if we do put the ice and elevation and rest and then get them to doctor. Maybe a few days you're gonna get back. We had so many so many players that they had a two, three near surgery or orthoscopic surgery, they're still playing, you know. That's very good. But uh, prevention is our task. Good conditioning, correct conditioning good conditioning, prevent injury. This is what we can do in training. Volleyball injuries, these are very common. And you ever see that book in libraries, in your area, I'm sure you can find the Italian orthopedic surgeon who played volleyball and wrote the book. Very good book. Good pictures, real pictures in, in the operation room. Finger injury, very many. Back injury, spikers, very many. Knee injuries, ankle injury, and shoulder injury. These are the things that happen among the volleyball players very often, very, more, very, very much so. Shoulder injury among the people hitting very hard and incorrectly throwing the hand and no topspin ball and many times missing the ball, not good contact, they usually get shoulder injury. But you know that very much of, except, except the finger, these are under the control of the muscles. If somebody have a good muscles, he gets less injury. A strong muscle and good coordination. Good coordination between the muscle in the back and front and the side. Some people have a big muscle front, but not very much in the back. Not very good coordination. No balance. Now we have a, a sophisticated machine. 
isokinetic cybex. You sit down and it tells you the situation of the muscles. And it tells you these muscles are very weak according as compared to this one. This is not very good. So you have to work with this very much. Don't work with this anymore. Because this is already this much. Isokinetic. In American football, taping ankle and in, in, in uh, NBA, taping ankle is mandatory. Must tape. Whether you sit on the bench or not, or play. In American football, taping is mandatory. Everybody must tape. <coughs> Because they, they don't want to happen very much. Because they can't afford to lose the players, you know. Type of treatment is very much type of treatment now. The technology is great. <coughs> Cold therapy, ice. Heat therapy, hydrotherapy, massage, surgery, physiotherapy, radiation and others that I don't know. There's so many techniques in the hospitals for therapy. Laser. That's what we can get the people quicker into the match. Make them more active, quicker active as compared to the time that if you get the surgery, you must leave the sport for good. I saw some of the basketball players in the United States. They were sitting here. And there was a bucket of ice, crushed ice, up to here. And he's just making noise that you can hear from six kilometers. But he has to put his leg into the ice, in the ice, for 20 minutes. Your brain, it tears. But that's a, that's a therapy. He must do it. Because the healing time shortens. That's all these things for Healing time, shortening the healing time. We do this for shortening the healing time. In a stop two weeks, five days. In a stop five days, 48 hours. In a stop six months, two months. That's the healing time. So all the big teams paying good money, they want the athlete be active. That means they don't want you to sit down on the bench and watch and get $2 million a year, you know. They want you to go inside and score. So they invest on these. They have the doctor, they have the hospital, they have the technology available. They get the people active quicker. We have about two, three months for going to Rio. How much time we have? Three months? Two? Two months. No volleyball team. 
12 teams, only 12. They don't want to get injured, anybody. They want to practice hard twice a day, but they don't want anybody gets injured, real injury. They can't afford. So they pay attention so much to their practices, conditioning, and uh, drills that doesn't cause very much of a problem. At the same time, they have to practice full blast, practicing. Because only 12 teams going to Olympic for volleyball. That's very, very little. And so much investment for that one. For four years, so investment. And uh, so all the teams have a doctor, trainer, to keep the injury low and minor. Low and minor. Because anybody gets an injury, major injury now in Iran, he's going to be eliminated eliminated from team. Because don't, you don't have time. You give knee surgery, you're gone. So peak performance in Rio for these 12 teams, one important thing is this one. This one. This one. Everything. Everything. Years back, we only knew this. We didn't know anything about nutrition, calorie, or vitamin, or uh, supplement. We didn't know about supplement. Psychology, a sports psychology. Now we have a sports psychology. We have a sport sociology. We have a sport environment. What we do, all the teams now, so many cycling teams now, they are in Qatar, practicing in Qatar, because they want to get used to heat and uh, uh, moisture because they want to go to Rio is hotter for them especially teams from Scandinavian they are practicing at Qatar and they're paying so much money for that they want a hotel they want a facility cycling team humidity Humidity and heat are very bad. It kills. Now they're sending their teams to Qatar for adaptation. To what? To heat and humidity. It costs them very much, but they pay because they have the best athlete, you know. Gold medal. He's thinking for gold medal. So... Uh, environmental exercise physiology. Environmental exercise physiology is a, is a book, is a course, and injury. You can't afford major injury anymore for two months, for next two months. Important point in prevention. This is very important. That's all we can do. The only things we can do is this one. The rest of them is in our hand, you know. It happens. I do my best on him, he gets injured. Nothing I can do. He goes for the blocking and he hits. The ball gets one finger, that's all over. Physical fitness, prevention, 
with physical fitness, good physical fitness, good physical fitness, muscles, tendons, stretching, correct teaching, good technique, good technique, good warm up, warm up. So many ideas about warm ups. 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 20 minutes, do this, do that, do that. Cool down, good cool down. Correct training, correct training, not correct technique teaching, correct training, not very much of a training. Correct teaching, correct training. Obeying rules. Rules means don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. Use of good equipment, good floor, good balls, good shoes. Knee pads for diving. Proper facility, <clears throat> good gymnasium with good surface, whatever. It takes. So prevention is in our hand. If we invest in four years for one team, Italian team, Serbian team, wherever, Russian team, we must provide this one because this has so much to do with this and this has so much to do with this in Rio. First individual and the individual as a whole team. Thank you.